Well, what we want to do in Snowmass Village is make sure we're providing an amenity to the guests that is an amazing experience, right? And so if we have people talking about Snowmass where, it, where the musher has a warrant out for his arrest or, you know, we're running over a skier with, with a dog sled, I mean, those are, those are the types of situations where people are looking at us and saying, why do you have a dog sled op operation that's, that's, you know, having these types of issues? Absolutely. Aspen Ski Co. has had an 80-year-old man fall into the half pipe a few years ago and died. It's not in the newspapers. Nobody's talking about oh, yeah, it was. Aspen Ski Company. Oh, yeah, it was. I mean, there's been a lot of things. We, we accommodate thousands of guests every year. And they're, yes, they're, you know, we ran over a skier that's, that stood in a trail and clearly knew that that's where the path that we were going. Um, let's just clarify. It's an active ski run. So, I mean, you got to give the right away to the skiers. Right. I mean, your this, your dog sledding operation is is going across an active ski run five times. Mm -hmm. I mean, that in and of itself is is a concern. I mean, and if we're running over skiers, that's that's a huge issue. So we've ran over one skier and it in at three thousand guests per year for over forty years. So one hundred and twenty thousand guests, and we've had one skier versus dog sled accident that's pretty high numbers right but unfortunately you weren't able to pay the guy's medical bills either because you didn't have the insurance to cover him it never went to trial and um there's a good chance that i wouldn't have been found guilty with that we all settled right. for a low amount of money all right well, i mean i don't want to get into it today but but from a publicity standpoint in snowmass village it's it's not it's not a great uh, image of snowmass or or a dog sledding amenity that we're providing a lease to. So those are concerns. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are real concerns. I mean, I went out and skied uh, the trail the other day um, because I think liability is a huge issue. You know, the, the helms unfortunately don't let you on their property, and the Perrys are not letting dog sledding on their property. So you're limited now. And where you can go and I think that you probably have one of the most challenging dog sledding operations around right I mean going downhill making that turn is is a that's not an easy move right with for dog sleds right so I think you've got that um, I mean the amount of feces on the trail is I mean it's it's astronomical I mean if we were to tag you 50 bucks for every dog poop out there Man, that would really ding you in a big way. I mean, there's got to be an operation to clean up the, the trail. I, I don't know. I mean, we've been operating out there for almost 50 years on the exact same trail system. So you don't feel like you should have to clean up the dog poop? I mean, we. how would I clean up the dog poop every day? Same way we do when we walk our dogs. Well, I run 200 dogs a day down that. So do you feel like you I should... groom it? I groom it daily. And does and that get rid of the dog poop? No, it covers it up. Right. And then by spring it melts out and it's gone. How do horses on horse trails do the same thing? You know, they're running up the maroon bells with lines and lines of horses. That's right. And horses are different. 